So I wanted to make sure we know what Asherah, Ashtoreth is because the word talks about like Gideon, for example, had to cut down the this Asherah pole and chop it into wood and burn it and create a sacrifice for God. So he had to build an he had to cut this down and then build an altar on top of it to God, to Jehovah, and kill a sacrifice and put a sacrifice on it. So he had to actually transition the God of all the people around him. So they hated him for they wanted to kill him for it, but that's what he was that's what God told him to do. You'll often see a breasted God with Ashtaroth or Asherah. There's of course all these different names. I want to go to Strong's Concordance on Ashtoreth, just so we look at it biblically. So it's a goddess. It's a goddess of the Sidonians. It has to do with Egyptians. Here, Ishtar. You see here, this is what Ishtar came from. It's Canaanite. It's a Phoenician goddess of love and increase. So it's also known as fortune. So this is a god that brings you things. And so how would we recognize that in society? She's often portrayed in a pairing with the Ashtara pole and then the Canaanite deity Baal. So there's often a pairing. So on this page, I found Ashera with a star and the V in the middle. So a star, Ashtara, is also known as Venus. And the letter V is associated with a star. The oak leaf, the V, representing Venus. And this page interestingly just goes into all these different ways that we could recognize these symbols in our society related to Asherah. So you see a lot of people in even in Christianity that hold up the two fingers, the peace sign. That's what this is. This is the V. This is Venus worship. It started with the elites and then came down into society just like they do with Hollywood, just like they do with anything else. If they want to start a trend of secret worship, the Christmas tree, great example. If they want to start something and make it popular, a lot of people say, well, with a mark of the beast, you're going to have to worship the beast. But this is a perfect example of how people use the peace sign and they're worshiping this other God and they don't know it but they are worshiping it. So there is something that people can be made to do out of copying something that they don't understand. And they may be told it's one thing, but it's really another thing. So if people take the mark of the beast and they have to worship the beast, they might be told that their, their form of worship is really for something else because it doesn't matter if they're tricked into it, they're still giving their worship to it. And that's where we have a lot of churches that are called Christian but people are worshiping other gods and they don't realize it because they don't understand the word of God. So they're not seeing that they're actually by definition worshiping another God. Every other God demands worship. That's where we have the one world religion. Everybody's saying there's not just one way to go to God. It's all the same God that we worship. We just call it different things. And that's true for them because it all is the same God. It's all Satan. So they do have unity in their God. They do have uh, all the same God. So all the other religions that are saying, including the lukewarm Christian, the lukewarm Christian God is, I, I have no obedience. I don't care about righteousness. I don't care about his word. I don't have to know his word. I don't need the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't need deliverance. I don't have to worry about sin. That's the devil. <laughs> That's a do as thou wilt. So that other God is one. So everyone that's saying, oh, we have, we have this unification, the universal church, the universal God is the Antichrist. So they are right that they are in agreement with all having the same God. So those that are going to stand out are the Christians, the true Christians. And it's going to be the minority on the narrow path that leads to life. So I just want to see what it has here for Ashira. I think they it, she might have been named after the, the ash tree. Maybe the oak tree is similar. They used these trees and poles. So we see this her depicted here. So it's like the Lady Liberty that we, Libertus, we've looked at Columbia. So there's various versions. This is Venus as well. Uh, what is she called here? Athena in Greek. So she just goes by many names. This owl, this is Lilith, Lilith, Lucifer. 
this tarot came from the Egyptians, and sometimes there are people calling themselves Christians that are involved in tarot as well. So Father, thank you for just giving us eyes to see and just understanding what it is that your word says. When you mention this goddess in the Old Testament and how your people kept getting snared by it and kept wanting to be involved with it, it's the same to this day. And it was a, the Canaanite way, the Baal way, and we see the same thing as well today, this child sacrifice. So we thank you, Father, for really, really driving it in that we recognize what to stay away from. Keep opening our eyes, keep giving us dreams and revelation, and convict us to share them as much as we don't have time to, as much as we don't want to, as much as we don't necessarily know what to say. Continue to just have us speak in this time. There's no time to lose, and we just we just need you, God. We thank you for all you're going to do in us the rest of today and ongoing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.